development often takes several years and it is impossible to ensure a certain quality standard simply by testing the program at the end of its development process. Quality cannot be designed into the software after the code is written. It must be designed and programmed into the software prior to and during its development phases by following written development standards, including the use of appropriate specifications, test plans and test methods. The product lifecycle approach has been widely used and is accepted to validate computerized systems during their entire life. Several versions of the lifecycle models have been suggested by different organizations. Here we discuss the V model as described in the GUMP guide. It is most useful for software developers. The software lifecycle starts with setting user requirement specifications. They define what the user wants to do with the system. From these user requirement specifications, software functions are defined that are needed to meet the user's requirements. These are called functional specifications. From the functional specifications, the programmers develop the design specifications. They specify how the functions are implemented, for example, which formulas are used in calculations. Next, the code is written and tested. Qualification phases on the right hand side of this figure include installation qualification, operational qualification and performance qualification. In the OQ phase, we verify that the software meets functional specifications and in the PQ phase we test if the system meets the user requirements.